Roots in Milwaukee, an interdisciplinary artist has dreams of inspiring the next generation of leaders through art and education. Her work in the community has not gone unnoticed as she was recently recognized as Milwaukeean of the Year by Shepherd Express. In our Sunday morning spotlight, Taj Mahal introduces us to Symphony Swan. Milwaukee is home. For Symphony Swan, Milwaukee means family. It means community. It means legacy. As the 2023 Milwaukeean of the Year, she wears that title with much hometown pride. I think it's really cool because I hear, one, that I'm the first African-American female to receive the award, which is really great, and, you know, an honor, actually. An honor and a surprise. Total surprise, right? So folks in the community were voting for me, which is really exciting, but when I got it, I was like, holy crap. This is a real thing. Swan is an interdisciplinary artist. Her specialties range from photo and film to painting and print. Swan's work embodies life through her eyes as a black woman, mother, and community champion. I'm inspired by people, people's stories, I think. Um, I love to be able to find some commonality and share experiences. Like, oh my God, I, you know, I have that experience too. Swan's background carries deep roots in the community. She's the co-founder of Blank Space MKE, an arts cooperative for creators across the city. She's also building a new organization. The Creative House is a um, emerging nonprofit. It is a, a space for artists to gather, belong, create, and exhibit work. Swan has a background in education. After undergrad, I was an art teacher in K-8 schools around the city. After that, I started, I went back to school for my master's and decided to be a school principal. Uh, because I wanted to create more impact. During the pandemic, she resigned because she felt like she had moved too far away from her passion of art. Well, that's when I landed in arts nonprofit, um, where I spent the next couple of years like really bridging art, education, and community. And so serving on boards, um, advocating for artists, creating space for artists to thrive has been like really my passion the last couple of years. Growing the creative house is how she's continuing to live that passion. It is uh, the result of me grieving the loss of my parents and creating a space for us to conser conserve, honor, celebrate uh, black family stories. Her love for art has helped through the grieving. As a part of my grieving journey, I started to go through my old photographs. And being a practicing artist, it started to naturally translate into the work I was creating. Um, and it started to just tell a story. And the more that I shared online, people were interested and people were um, connecting to the work and the process of what it meant to like bury a parent, care for a parent. And the inspiration for the creative house is the house where she grew up in the old North Milwaukee neighborhood. So after going in the house and cleaning it out, I remember how much of an artist my dad was and just decided to give it back to the community in that way. She says Creative House will be a source of inspiration in the community to support and uplift the next generation of creatives and celebrate the work of black, brown, and indigenous artists. I am slowly building this nonprofit, this organization, this thing, and so, um, that's, that's what's been taking up my time. When I'm not working, being a wife and a mom, I'm building this arts organization. I'm creating a, a beautiful life here of like what I want to see in the community. And so every day I'm like carving away, like how do I create space for community and art and um, connecting? You'll find today's stories and those from past shows at cbs58.com slash Sunday morning. And please send your story ideas to Sunday morning at cbs58.com. And everybody who comes in, they get, wow, they can't believe it because it looks like a, a simple ranch. No staging needed here because it's got a stage and more. We'll tour one of the most unique homelistings in the area. Plus, 